morning, Ashworth. I'm Skylin. My name is my co-anchor is Warren Worley. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Williams News. Now we ask everyone to please stand and recite our United States Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, now we will observe a moment of silence. Good morning, Ashford. This is Skylar Mendes with Few Words of Wisdom. Have you ever had a craving for something that just wouldn't go away? Like a craving for chocolate or a craving for pizza? We all get cravings from time to time, and that's okay. What's not okay is when we constantly crave things we don't have. When we spend too much time craving more clothes or craving new shoes or craving a bigger house or a nicer car. Listen to these words written almost 2,000 years ago by a Roman philosopher by the name of Sina. It is not the man who has too little but the man who craves more that is poor. Sounds just like that, that Japanese proverb we've heard before, he who knows not when he has enough is poor. <laughs> Today, focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. You may be surprised and discover that you have enough. With something to think about, this is Skyline Mans. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Today for lunch, we'll have pulled pork barbecue sandwich, hot dog, coleslaw, baked beans, tater tots, fresh fruit, and a choice of milk. Tomorrow, we'll have homemade pepperoni pizza, Pizza dippers with marinara sauce, side salad, sweet corn niblets, fresh fruit, fruit, and your choice milk. The word of the day is curiosity. What does it mean? Done or made quickly. Here's today's quote from the book called 365 Days of Wonder, inspired by the book and major motion picture, Wonder. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Vince Lombardi. Our 7th grade teachers are selling magnets and bracelets to support AMS 7th grader Jacob Bowman. You can share your support by purchasing a bracelet for only $2 and a magnet for $4. All donations will benefit Jacob's family. See any 7th grade teacher to purchase one today. This week's 8th grade shout out goes to Braylon Roberts. He always participates in class and brings great ideas into our discussion. Awesome job, Braylon. He was nominated by Mr. Baker. The AMS baseball team will take on Gladden at home on Thursday, March 21st at 4.30 p.m. Next, they will travel to Bailey to compete on Monday, March 25th at 4.30 p.m. Save the date for the 8th grade FCA huddle meeting. Join us for a time of games, prizes, prayer, and testimonies on Friday, March 22nd at 8 a.m. in the gym. The AMS track and field team will host and compete in the Warrior Invitational meet on Saturday, March 23rd at 9.30 a.m. The AMS spring musical, Bob Bob Birdie, will be here before you know it. Performances will be Friday, March 22nd at 6 p.m., Sunday, March 24th at 3 p.m., and Monday, March 25th at 6 p.m. at the Gordon Central Blue Box Theater. Make plans to see our AMS students perform in this awesome show. The AMS students team will travel to, travel to compete on August Pepper on Tuesday, March 26th at 4.30 p.m. Next, they will take on Kusa at Gordon Central on Wednesday, March 27th at 4 p.m. Map testing will be March 26th, 27th, and 28th. Get plenty of rest, get to school on time, and do your best. Save the day for spring break. It's coming up April 8th through the 12th. Mark your calendars for the AMS cheerleading tryouts, April 22nd and 25th through 25th. You must be a rising 6th, 7th, or 8th grader to try out. See Coach Hood or Coach L. Chandler for more questions. Attention 8th graders, if you are interested in being in color guard at Gordon Central next year, see Mr. Johnson in the band room for more information. You may be wondering, what is color guard? Known also as a sport of the arts, color guard is the use of flags, sabers, rifles, and other equipment, as well as dance and other interpretive movement. We use these equipments and movements in order to enhance the visual effect of a show. Typically, color guard often occurs between the summer and fall months, with most guards performing alongside their school's marching band with live music and a field show on a football field. On the flip side, winter guard occurs between the winter and spring months, it is often performed in a gym to played back music, and it is a standalone activity separate from the band. Many color guards perform for fun at rallies, football games, and parades. But many also compete competitively, participating in competitions, tournaments, and field shows. Should you join color guard? Yes, 
If you want a team-based sport that challenges you both mentally and physically, lifelong friendships, fun competitions, and lasting memories, then Color Guard is the sport for you. Hey, Warrior family. Do you have spirit? Wear your, show it by wearing your school colors every Friday, because Fridays are spirit days. Guess what day it is? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We want to wish you awesome warriors a very happy birthday. Emily Cochran. Our mission is to positively impact the lives of our students and community daily. Our vision is to continuously pursue excellence and rigor through results-based innovation and meaningful collaborations we equip students for success in high school and beyond. That's all we have for now. Ashworth Middle School, have a great day and go Warriors!